Hey guys, it's Bellamy here from Midnight Suns and I'm here with a tier list for Overwatch 2 Season 9. So I know there are a lot of tier lists on YouTube right now from all the different Overwatch YouTubers, but I realize that most of them are playing in either the American or European servers and because I'm somebody with experience in the Asian servers, in the pro lobby Asian servers, yeah, I figure I make this tier list and maybe have a little different opinion from everyone else. Yeah, so I'm going to try to do this tier list as fast as possible, under 10 minutes. So yeah, let's get right to it. Okay, so first we have Mauga. Unfortunately, Mauga is really, really bad right now. He's such a huge target. He's pretty slow, yeah. And he just gets all the cooldowns and with all the the DPS buffs with the 20% healing reduction, yeah, he just dies almost instantly. So Diva, I would say situational. She can still do quite well, especially with people who are good at Diva. But most of the times, there are just better choices than her. Doomfist, I will also say situational because the one trick Doomfist are always gonna be great but for regular players, most players, even in top 500 lobbies, Doomfist is really not very good right now. Actually, yeah, in fact, I would say he's actually usually bad. So for Jungle Queen, I'll put her in C, situational. She's just not that good because her shout damage mitigation doesn't really compare to some of the other damage mitigation from some of the other tanks here. Orisa in the current meta is, I think, is always good in any team comp. Orisa just survives like crazy and that's all you need from your tank right now actually. Your tank really needs to survive because now the DPS passive is so strong. So any and every damage mitigation in the game is important. For Romatra, he's also, I would say, mostly good because he's also very survivable and that's, that's, yeah, just, that's just what you want from your tanks right now. You want them to survive. For Reinhardt, I will actually say he's situational. I've seen some people do quite well with him, but yeah, he's just not as good as some of the other tanks, but his shield is very, very useful right now with like just blocking DPS damage. For Roadhog, I would say he's mostly bad. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's just a huge target for everyone right now. And Sigma, I would say, yeah, it's almost always good. Yeah, in fact, hmm, yeah, I'll, I'll still put Orisa in front of him, but yeah, he's, he's almost always good. So for Winston, I would say he's usually good, but the reason I don't put him in like always good or mostly good is because even though he can do very well, he needs a lot of coordination with his team. Unlike some of the other tanks here, which you don't really need to coordinate as much with your team. Yeah, so I would say he's usually good. But if you have a coordinated team, he can definitely go all the way up there. For Wrecking Ball, hmm, I would say situational. So I've seen some people do much better with Wrecking Ball in the current meta because he's one of the tanks that really doesn't require so much healing and he's pretty self-sufficient. In the current meta where everyone's just trying to burn down tanks, yeah, the the DPS passive is so strong and yeah, Wrecking Ball can still survive, yeah, so he's situational. Uh. So for Zarya, I would say she's usually good, like, double bubbling herself is usually pretty good for surviving, but yeah, there are still some, like, the other tanks up here, I think, still survive a lot more easier than her. So for Ash, I would say she's mostly good, like, her Dynamite that is a damage over time skill, so it applies the DPS passive, the reduced healing an even longer period of time compared to other DPS heroes, yeah. Plus, Bob also applies the DPS passive, so yeah, it's really, really great. For Bastion, I would say usually bad. Like, if someone plays Reinhardt, you can still play Bastion and just melt the Reinhardt, but in most situations now, you wouldn't need or want to play Bastion. For Cassidy, actually right now, I would say he's he's really usually good. Like, he's so tanky now, I think he has like 300 HP, yeah, so he's very, very survivable, and yeah, survivability is the name of the game right now. Echo, I will also say, is usually good. So I think a lot of people now prefer playing Echo to Farah. Yeah, so I'm putting Echo in usually good. Like, she's still a very irritating flying hero. Okay, for Genji, I will say usually good. Like, because now his projectile hitboxes are so much larger, yeah, he, he's much better than he was before. Hanzo, I will say, is situational. Because, as you will soon see, there are people who do his job better than him. Jamret, I will say right now, is mostly bad because he can... He honestly really can barely kill anybody because his old flanking combos just won't won't like one hit kill people anymore because everyone's health has been increased. So for me, I've actually been seeing a lot more of her recently and I'll say she's usually good, yeah. So I'll put her in B. Like she's definitely very useful right now, even with her ice wall and, and just her self survivability. And for Farah, well it's it's she's just been reworked, so it's very hard to tell, but as of right now, I haven't seen many good things from her, so Hmm, I guess I'll put her in situational first, yeah. But I think people need to learn to get used to her new playstyle. For Reaper, I will also say he's situational. Like, he's very survivable now because with the projectile increase, he gets so much more life steal from just all the targets he's hitting. So yeah, he can be pretty good in the right hands against the right team comp. 
And for Sojourn, she's definitely all the way up here. She definitely benefited the most from the projectile size increase of all the heroes, I think. Yeah, so she's really, really strong right now. Sojourn 76, very, very good for applying the DPS passive on enemies, I would say. Yeah, I'll even put him all the way up here in S tier. He's really, really strong right now. So for Sombra, I would say she's situational. Like, I still see people do quite well with her, but yeah, she... It really depends on the team comp the enemy has. Like, she's still good for hacking, like Wrecking Ball and Reinhardt, of course, if they do decide to play that. Sim, also, I would say situational. Like, there will always be the one-trick Sims who are really, really good at Sim, but most players, I think, like, even in top 500 lobbies, Sim isn't really that good, but yeah, situational. Like, on defense maps, she's definitely much better. Top, I know this will surprise a lot of people, but I say he's definitely S tier right now. I think this might even be the strongest that Top has ever been in the history of Overwatch. Like, right now, with the projectile size increase, he's just melting people with headshots left and right, and... He's so strong, right, that he can win most 1v1 duels in the entire game right now. I've seen Top go 1v1 against like Doomfist, even we don't make a set range, and the Top still wins because he can just spam his primary fire at their heads and hit from like across the map. Plus, when he does his overload, he has 400 HP now, he's basically a mini tank. Tracer, also, I've seen her doing very well in the current meta. Basically, any hero with a lot of survivability is really, really strong. Tracer is extremely survivable. So, we don't make out, say, situational. If you have a player who is really, really mechanically skilled and can headshot everybody, then Widow is always going to be very strong. But yeah, there are a lot of heroes now that she cannot one-shot. Like, Top, if he overloads, you can't one-shot him. Yeah, and he actually, like I said earlier, he'll actually beat a lot of Widowmakers 1v1 even across the map. Yeah, so Top, because Top is all the way up here, I think Widowmaker, yeah, she's not really that good right now. Ana, I would say she's still mostly good, but there are support heroes that are much better in the meta now to play than Ana. Baptiste is one of them. Yeah, he's he's really, really strong right now. His primary fire just hits people so much more easily now if all the projectile increases. Yeah, he's really, really strong. His damage is really high right now. Brick, I know I'm a Brick one trick, so I might be biased, but I also think Brick is really, really strong in the current meta. The extra health she has right now, and then you add on with her, her base regular shield health. Yeah, she's a mini tank right now. So Iliari, I think situational, if you have someone like a very good Widowmaker who plays Iliari, just hitting all the shots across the map, yeah, Iliari will always be very good and she's like a sniper support. Kiriko, I will also say, put with Ana, I will say mostly good, but right now in the current meta, I feel that I haven't seen so much reliance on all these utility skills. Kiriko's Suzu isn't as necessary as it once was. So for Life Weaver, I will say I think he's He's most likely usually bad because I haven't seen anybody in top tier Asian lobbies play him. So I think that's usually a big sign that he's pretty bad. Yeah. If a hero doesn't get picked at all, then yeah, you, you kind of know that it's really probably not very strong. For Lucio, hmm, Lucio, I would say usually good. If you have a very coordinated team, it can go all the way up here. But Lucio is one of those heroes that I feel needs a lot of coordination with your team with all the speed boosts and all that. Mercy, I would say situational. I know a lot of people right now think that Mercy sucks, but this is gonna surprise a lot of you, but a Mercy Boosted top is actually really strong right now. And Mercy Boosted Sojourn is of course gonna be very strong as well as it always has been. So for Moira, yes, I'm somebody who has reached top 500 playing Moira, so I'm also biased, but to be honest, Moira is really, really strong right now. Like, I wouldn't put her in S tier, but definitely A tier, even in top level lobbies. Like, the amount of damage she does right now, you know, her damage was increased by 30% in the previous patch. Yeah, so don't be surprised if you see Moira get even more damage than all the DPSs in the game. So Zenyatta, he's definitely S tier because his Discord op is kind of a necessity to kill certain tanks like Orisa and Sigma right now. Yeah, so I'm putting him in the S tier. Plus, with the projectile size increases, yeah, he's just hitting way more shots now. And that's all for my tier list, guys. Once again, this is what I think is the tier list for the Asian top level lobbies. But I know many of you are from like American and European servers, so do go down in the comments below and let me know how different you think the meta is in your servers, yeah. Anyway, thanks again for watching everybody and as always, stay good. Bye guys.